Howdy. Y'all get ready for a bumpy ride here for a few minutes. Yeah. Nice roads we have here. Uh, <laughs> am I making you sick yet? Uh, it'll only be for a few more seconds, I promise. Well, I can't promise because I don't know. Anyway, welcome to uh, another video, Be the Ant Preparedness. I am your host, Big G. Uh, yesterday we uh, started talking about money for prepping. And I quickly went off on a tangent about shelter, and we pretty much stayed there. So I apologize. Uh, those of you that uh, are regular viewers, you guys know that I'll get off on a tangent and uh, sometimes stay there. I try to pull myself back, though. I do. I, I promise I do. I try. So today, we are going to try to talk about uh, money for prepping, finding money for prepping when money is tight things like that okay um, finding money for prepping I'm gonna give you a bunch of info here but guys it comes down to one thing that if you want to prep you will find the money for it okay if you're serious about prepping you will find the money for it okay things we are serious about yeah, we'll find the money for it. If we're smokers, we're going to find the money for smokes. If we chew, we're going to find that. If we, like, uh, drink a beer when we get home, we're going to find money for that, okay? So it, this falls into that category that if you are serious about it, um, you will find the money for it. Now, I don't want you taking away from bills and your children and things like that, uh, but you'll find the money. A few of the places to find the money. Okay. Uh, easiest one is if you can work overtime. I know not everybody has uh, the ability to work overtime. Uh, a lot of guys are salary. Uh, I get that. Okay. But if you are able to work the overtime, get that OT, man. Uh, no, it sucks me uh, I just got done doing my sixth day and that's what I do I work six days a week most of the time uh, I do not work Sundays because of the Sabbath um, sorry squirrel <laughs> I'm just uh, but anyway yeah if you can find time for the OT okay find it even if you're only able to make an extra, oh my gosh, let's say you're making $20 an hour. If you can do an extra two hours a week, that's 60 bucks. After taxes, you're 40 to 45 ish. Uh, over the course of a month, you know, that's 160, what, 45, 160, 180 a month right there. Okay, and that's just two hours a week. Um, so overtime. Now for those of you that can't work overtime. Um, second job. Now I know jobs right now, from what I hear, uh, are harder to come by. So, uh, I get that. Uh, I can't speak for the Uber Lyft thing. I've never done that. Uh, but one thing I have done, haven't had to do it lately, uh, but when I was younger, I, I delivered pizzas, and it was an awesome job. I loved it. I walked out of there every night with cash in my pocket, um, and pretty much I got paid to drive around and listen to my tunes. That was it. Um, and a lot of times I would work, you know, if you get there at 5, you might be getting off by 8 or 9 or something. I mean, sometimes you'd have to close, work till... 1130 or something uh, But if you've already got a full-time job uh, I know for me anyway the pizza delivery it it worked out uh, I guess uh, they got uber eats now and uh, all the other oh, What is it Grubhub you guys know what I'm talking about all the different little delivery services now those are uh, Are doing pretty good because a lot of people with the corona 
they still got to have their they still got to have their baby back ribs right so instead of cooking well we'll just order it and have somebody deliver it to us to each their own uh, but that's a way you can take advantage of that uh, I haven't checked it out so I haven't gone into it uh, but if the uber eats is anything like the uber and stuff my understanding is you can sign up and as long as your stars don't get too low you pretty much got a job um, so we got overtime we got second jobs um, just doing a little uh, side jobs okay depending on what you're good at or what you enjoy okay um, if you like carpentry um, think about something you can make and you know what knock one out and put it on Craigslist or all the other uh, sites I know I guess Facebook has a market or something uh, and see what happens I made my wife for uh, Mother's Day this year a headboard uh, it turned out really nice she was impressed I was like yeah now you know what I can do now she's got a list this long of things she wants me to do um, but anyway she was telling me I made it just the way she wanted but she was telling me that she had looked around um, and that the headboards like I made are regularly going for four or five hundred dollars I'm like for a freaking headboard <laughs> and she said yeah uh, and I had probably hundred bucks worth of materials in it maybe 120 or something uh, that's counting all the stain and the nails and the screws you know that's counting all that stuff uh, so yeah right there I could have if I wanted to in fact my son my oldest son he's like because it took us I don't know total four hours now there was dry time in between there but anyway uh, Asked about how much you could sell them for, and I said, "Well, mommy said so and so and so and so," and he's like, "Huh? Maybe we had." <laughs> so he's got he's got the entrepreneurial yeah spirit. Uh, so anyway, good at carpentry, things like that. If you're good at metalworking, things like that. Uh, if you can, just like I tell my children, um, yes, I want them to grow up and make a good living. But at the same time, I don't want that to be their only motivation. Uh, I tell my children, find something that you enjoy and figure out how to make money doing it. Uh, so if you have a hobby that you enjoy, see if you can figure out a way to make money at it. Uh, and no, I'm not making any money off YouTube. I mean, I don't, you gotta have so many subscribers and so many hours. This is just for funsies. Uh, but anyway, what else? Uh, find your hobby, figure out what you can do. Uh, selling off your toys? Yeah, you can do that. I mean, if you're serious about it, uh, if you've got that boat that you haven't even used it for the last two years or something, yeah, maybe you ought to think about getting rid of it. Uh, unless, you, uh, unless that is part of your bug out plan is to get on the boat and go to wherever. Uh, but if it's not and you can live without it, yeah, get rid of it, man. Uh, things like that. Um, what else was, I don't have a list of things as you guys know. <laughs> it's off the cuff. It's always off the cuff. Uh, but, uh, you can sell some of your toys. Uh, just reducing, uh, your spending. Okay. Just reduce your spending. Uh, it, it actually really surprised me. I looked up a couple years ago. I can't remember what it was. Either I looked it up or you know how they do the little factoids on the radio. I don't know. One of them. But it said something like, I'm trying to remember, 60% of Americans eat out at least like two or three times a week. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Um... So, if you're part of that 60%, whatever it was, uh, that 
yeah eats out multiple times a week you know stay in that extra night guys you don't understand but my wife yeah trust me I get it uh, my wife it likes to go out and do things too but at the same time we have date night once a week and uh, we try to stay as affordable as we can um, but that is a cost if need be we can eliminate if we have an un unexpected bill or something like that but uh, yeah look at those expenditures um, are you spending twenty thirty dollars a month on the gym that you never go to are you spending ten dollars a month on a uh, streaming service that you use yeah once every couple weeks or something uh, take a look at that stuff uh, ways to cut back and uh, you have to do it with the understanding that that money is going to prepping because if not that money will just become part of your normal well now we got a little extra money we can do this uh, I recommend when you get that extra money throw it in a sock put it between the mattresses uh, stick it in a coffee can somewhere something uh, because if it's easily accessible uh, most people do not have that restraint they'll be like hey I know I got a hundred bucks in there and blah 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 uh, but yeah just make sure you're keeping it separated but uh, take a look at your own life you know kind of sit back uh, run things through your head excuse me and uh, think about places you could cut things you could sell uh, hobbies that you're interested in that you might make a couple bucks off of um, if you're able to pick up that extra time at work you know all that stuff and uh, I'm sure that you might be able to find a couple bucks for it uh, and that about wraps it up so thanks a lot guys appreciate the views uh, until next time, talk to you at a while.